Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a state foundation advanced tutorial series and in our previous video I have shown you that how we will analysis and design for a single footing and that was incomplete because our video are being very lengthy that's why I have uh, postponed that for our next video. So in this video I will show you about that and if you are new here you, you can watch the previous video the link are given in description I mean the full playlist link are given in description you can watch that from um, there there is our uh, th third lecture so first of all I'll op open our start foundation advanced connect edition and uh, if, if you have no software I mean if you have no state foundation advanced software you can download and install that uh, the link are given in description and also they have a video on it so I will open our previous models clicking here open and here white is single footing uh, save that you know that if you are following my lecture so this is our model and we have assigned our load if we click here our load so they have two different load they have two th they have one load and if we go ahead they have another load so in this video I'll show you that from our next part of that single footing design okay so after our load analyzing we have to go apply self weight and dead load factor sorry uh, dead weight factor so from here you have to click here select wall and you can read from here you can read from here if you need that so click ok ok after that you have to go load safety factor table load safety factor table click here and from here you are seeing that our all value is 1 you have to give the wall value 1 so after giving here all value 1 then we have to go create new load combination or generate create you can click here create new load combination or we can generate load combination according to uh, create if we use that create new load combination so if I move it if you we click here so here from here uh, you can add load you can combine load factor according to your manual but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to generate load combination we can generate load combination according to load combination according to different types of code which types of code going to follow suppose is AC705, AC710, NBC, C05, Indian, British, Australian, and GV Great Britain code and user defined. You can also click here. User defined. You can also add the load combination according to requirement from here. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to select a code from here AC705. Okay as I'm from Bangladesh and uh, this code are similar to according to BNBC 2017 that's why I'm selecting that so you can select any code suppose you are Indian then you can select code from here and uh, if you're American from here British or Great Britain or Australian so ASC705 after that you have to click here generate load combination okay this is for if you see here service load combination this for service load combination you can give here the name that's not fact so generate okay again from here so from here you can select calc uh, generate load combination this is for ultimate load combination okay so click here then press ok and close so if you see here this is our load record load combination for our foundation okay 
so after our uh, load combination we have to go for our next part this is uh, from here the soil properties from here soil properties click on plus soil properties and here uh, see that pile or soil bearing capacity factor here pile or if we increase that pile or soil bearing capacity factor multiple by that wall factor will multiply by one you have to ensure that it's one after that we have to click here on job setup create new job and from here first of all we have to give our job name our job name suppose our job name is single footing design single footing design and from here we have to select our sorry from here we have to select our foundation type it's about isolated footing and design code which code we want to follow for designing our code so from here you have to select the code you record so i will select us code and default unit type you have to select from here and they have many thing code version which types of code version you want to use this is 05 08 11 any any code version you can select or other codes you can select from here other codes but we are not going to select any other code okay so after that you have to come here okay suppose uh, if you have a problem to see that suppose you are not seeing that uh, down line then you have to click here at that arrow okay that it will go up or it will go down by click by just no need to click just you have to take your mouse here okay now here available lot case just you have to click just click here sorry just click here all load we have selected just uh, that two load will remove so click here okay done so this is our required load combination this is a record load combination load case so create job okay done we have created our job so this is the isolated footing job we have found a new tab this isolated footing job so we have to click here plus then design parameter plus then concrete and reinforcement from here this is the very very important term every terms are very very important so this is concrete and reinforcement that means what will be the what concrete and reinforcement so mm, from here we can see that what will be the reinforcement and concrete parameters suppose here if i zoom that so from here you can was unit weight of concrete unit weight of concrete what will be the unit weight of concrete so we know that uh, the, the then uh, simply unit weight of concrete are 150 pound i mean cft okay so you can change your unit from here and you can give here according to value so minimum bar spacing minimum bar spacing what will be the minimum bar spacing for uh, con reinforcement what will be the minimum spacing you can give here here minimum spacing 2 I can give here minimum spacing 3 inch you can change here millimeter feet anything as you need then you have to give here minimum bar spacing minimum bar spacing sorry maximum bar spacing what will be the maximum spacing suppose uh, you can give her any I'm going I'm going to give her the maximum bar spacing will be suppose 7 inch or 8 inch that not fact 8 inch then uh, a strength of concrete you have to give her carefully what is the strength of concrete I'm um, considering our concrete is 3 ksi yield strength of e steel yield strength of e steel I'm considering our yield strength is uh, 60 ksi okay then here minimum footing bar size minimum footing bar size what will be the minimum bar size 5 you can change from here according to your requirement 
and uh, maximum footing bar size maximum it's given 10 you can give her any value top minimum footing bar size this is the footing bar size for bottom and uh, this is the top main footing bar size it's giving 3 to 10 it's done and minimum pedestrian bar size we are not going to give any value here because we have we, we haven't provided any pedestrian that's why we are not going to provide her any pedestrian value and um, after our analysis I will show you about pedestrian I mean about our pedestrian design how will design our pedestrian Pe uh, pedestrian of our footing so we'll give it as default the pedestal birth size will not give her anything the pedestal uh, tie birth size will also not give anything here so set as default set as default will click here yes okay so we have completely uh, done our concrete and reinforcement design parameter then we'll click here cover and soil from here we have to first of all we have to select our soil type which types of soil we are using which types of soil we are using so from here we are using suppose uh, we have uh, questionless soil I mean sandy soil and then pedestal clear cover 3 inch 3 inch you can give here according to requirement so unit weight of soil suppose uh, okay I'm considering as default uh, you can also change that bearing capacity of soil I'm considering 4 kips per square feet 4 kips per square feet then depth of soil depth of soil above footing here depth of soil above footing that uh, I mean what will be the depth of our footing from our ground level so suppose I I'll sorry I'll change that in feet and I'll consider that it's three feet okay it's three feet then type of depth which types of depth it fixed top or fixed bottom fixed top or fixed bottom from where we want to consider that so we'll consider our depth from top okay then searchers for loading you can give her searchers I mean uh, if you have any searchers you can give her then depth of water table um, where your water table level you have to give her that then question uh, here it is giving rate because we have select questionless soil that's why then share strength you have to give her share strength what is the share strength of your soil okay so after that we will select her set as default yes uh, that means uh, if you have any problem or anything required it will consider automatically okay so after that we have already done that now we have to go here footing geometry footing geometry so already this video are being very lengthy so in our next video I will show you about footing geometry sliding and overturning and how we'll design that and how we'll change our parameter according to our perfect design for our perfect design so thank you thank you very much stl st connected till next video